What's going on? My name is Dustin Smith, better known as Bones, and welcome to Bonesy TV. Where today we are doing another review on these RXS new guards. These could be the best ones yet. So it's been almost two years since I've done a review on these RXS knee guards. And if you're not familiar with who RXS is, they're basically a mask company out of Switzerland. And from time to time, they like to dabble in other goalie products, just like these knee guards. So I talk a little more on that on the review I did two years ago. So I'll make sure to link that down below for you to check out. But let's go ahead and dive into how I feel about these knee guards two years later. Now taking a quick look at uh, this knee guard in general, a lot of people would say that this is a very bulky knee guard. And I, I wouldn't disagree. This is definitely a more bulky knee guard compared to other knee guards in the market. And in the past, I've definitely been known to use some massive knee guards. But the very interesting thing about these knee guards specifically are that they don't play bulky. They don't feel bulky when you're wearing them. They don't get caught up in your gear at all. Now it's definitely one of the things that I noted in my initial review. They definitely integrate very well with my gear. But continuing to look at this whole setup here, this is basically uh, a knee brace with some added protection up here towards uh, the thigh. You get some foams in the knee portion and outside the knee. So it really does feel very comfortable to wear. It's very tight around the knee, but not so tight that you really feel like it's going to cut off any kind of circulation. It really does feel like an actual knee brace. And then of course, because it is tighter around your leg, I don't have to use any kind of tape to keep these things from sliding down on me or anything like that. So no need for a garter belt, no need for tape, which is a huge plus for me personally, because you know I'm not one to be asking guys for clear tape. And I really don't like using a garter belt to hold my knee guards up because usually that just kind of brings everything down it pulls my cup down and it just it's not a comfortable feeling for me so the fact that these stay in place the entire time is, is such a huge perk for me but another great perk is the fact that you can take these apart and just throw it in the lawn now, of course being that knee brace design it does get pretty sweaty it does get pretty wet so uh, it is nice to be able to take this apart throw in the wash but let's go ahead and uh, do just that it's actually very easy to take apart very simple design but this protective shell comes off very easy. Just a couple of elastic straps and here you have the protective shell. I mean, this thing is an absolute tank. This has given me so much protection over the last two years. And you can see with all these scuff marks going on here, it's it's definitely taken a bit of a beating, not that I've taken a ton of shots. You can definitely see a few of them uh, here on this one, but this protective shell, very protective. I've been very happy with the protection that I get out of this sh shell alone. But continuing down towards this knee brace, there is some protection here in the knee cap. So you do get this hard part, but then on the inside, it is a lot more soft. But I will say this is two years in, and uh, the inside is softened up a bit. The foams inside have broken down a little bit, which is to be expected, but I, I don't feel any kind of discomfort when I'm dropping to the butterfly. And I still feel just as comfortable in these as I did uh, two years ago when I first got them. But we also have this foam piece that lines up behind the protective shell. And uh, this piece here is adjustable. So this Velcro piece comes off and we can now adjust how tight we want this. And this just sits right on the front of uh, the knee brace. And of course, with these elastics, I really feel like I've been tightening these down more and more, but that's again, something else to be expected with elastics and Velcros. So that being said, I've, I've really been happy with how these have been holding up, but continuing down here, we do start to see some very serious wear and tear. You can see right in here, we start to get some fraying, some tearing right at the seams. And then everything else in here is just kind of getting beat up in general. You know, we're starting to see some fraying uh, here at this Velcro strap. But again, two years of absolutely destroying these knee guards. It's very typical. And as far as the performance of everything, everything holds together just fine. But continuing on down into the knee brace part of this, this would be the top of the knee brace. And there is a Velcro here. 
that opens up and uh, nothing really opens up completely here. This is just kind of the top of the knee brace and this elastic strap, you can tighten it up. And this is really kind of the part that I feel like I don't need tape. Everything here holds together really well. You can tighten that down pretty tight. And then, like I said, we have that protective shell right in the knee cap with some added foams in there. Uh, the added foam in the knee brace here, again, this is still the top. This is a nice foam right here on the uh, on the side. This also wraps around the whole piece. So some extra protection going on in here. Uh, same thing down here towards the bottom. Same foams uh, and everything like that. All this stuff is holding together great. You know, this elastic strap comes around through the back, loops through right here. Same thing down here on the bottom. We got this RXS logo on the Velcro strap, and that kind of does it for the overall knee guard. And like I said, when it comes to washing these, I literally just chuck these in the wash. I do end up putting them in a gitch bag just so they're not in there knocking around with everything else that's in the wash. But again, after washing these repeatedly, I'm not seeing any serious breakdown. I'm not seeing a lot of extra wear and tear that I wouldn't see normally. So it has been very nice to be able to wash these. But reassembling this is so easy. Really, it's just putting the shell back on. I have actually seen people who rock this without the protective shell. Not something I would personally do. But yeah, putting this thing back together is super simple. You just slip these straps right back through the front of the shell. You can adjust how tight you want these. And then of course here on the side, these just Velcro to the sides of that protective foam on top. And boom, there it is. So simple, such a good design. When you think about it, it's kind of a no-brainer. It's literally just a knee brace with some extra protection and this very nice protective shell. But now when it comes to actually wearing these, I have worn these without socks or anything like that. And I don't feel like they really get caught up in my pants at all, or I have any issues with my pads or anything like that. I like to have a big open area around my knee, specifically for my knee guards. So I don't have any straps or anything going back there. But what I'd like to do when I wear these specifically, but also every knee guard that I've worn in the past, I like to wear a sock over it. It's a smaller size. And what I like to do is kind of pull those up a little higher. I use them more as like a compression sleeve. So it's just kind of that extra layer that keeps everything together. And it's, it's done really well for me. I haven't had any issues with my knee guards moving around, sliding down on me at all. And I've been very comfortable in these knee guards and then adding that sock on top has really just kind of been like the icing on the cake. So ultimately when we talk performance here, the protection obviously is number one. With a knee guard, you wanna feel protected. You wanna feel confident that if you do take a puck to the leg, if you do take a puck to the knee for whatever reason, you're not gonna get injured. And after playing in two years, I have not taken a single stinger to the knee or the thigh at all, which is huge. So protection has been top notch for me personally. Now I have heard someone reach out and say that they did take a stinger while wearing these, but from my personal experiences, these are the most protective knee guard that I've ever worn. Now, of course, going into comfort, I feel like I've kind of talked about that the whole time. These are very comfortable. And after two years, things have kind of been broken down a little bit, but I can say that the quality itself has really withstood the test of time. And I feel like I can go another two years wearing these before things really get out of hand. But another big thing about these is when you're playing and I feel very mobile. I don't feel like I'm hindered at all. And personally, I feel like anytime you get high level of protection and mobility all in one product, it really is just kind of a win-win. You don't really see a lot of that. Usually there's some sort of compromise with protection and mobility, but this is kind of the perfect sweet spot where you do get both protection and mobility. So at the end of the day, I just have to say that this is the best knee guard that I personally have ever used. Um, is it the best knee guard on the market? I would have to say yes, but these are not easy to get your hands on. Now, like I said earlier, RXS is a mass company out of Switzerland. They do not specialize in making knee guards. And to my knowledge, they really don't keep these in stock. So whenever they do have them, they usually fly off the shelf 
and then you just kind of have to wait around until they start making some more. But if you have been wearing these, I really want to know what you've been thinking about them. Let me know in the comments below what you generally think about the RXS knee guards. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, we'll see you around.